The following shows the derivation of the quadratic formula using um, completing the square. Now, if you don't know how to complete the square, then this won't make a lot of sense to you, and so you should go do a, a search on how to complete the square. Um, but but the, the interesting thing is the quadratic formula is what's often used, but completing the square obviously had to come first because that's where you get this formula from. So to start off with, to complete the square, we only complete the square if we've got a coefficient of 1 in front of the x squared. So we began with the x squared plus bx plus c equals 0 because that's what we're trying to solve. That's what the quadratic formula solves. So to get the coefficient of 1 in front of the x squared, I had to divide everything by a. And so that gave me x squared plus ba over x plus ca equals 0. Now, also when you complete the square, you always get that number that's being added to the x squared and the x to the other side. So to do this, that number for me is c over a. And so I had to subtract c a from both sides. So now I've got x squared plus b a x equals negative c over a. And I need to complete the square. It's all set up to complete the square now. Well, remember, complete the square, you take half the middle term. Well, that's like multiplying 1 half times b over a, which equals b over 2 a. And then you've got to square that middle term. So b over 2a squared equals b squared over, well, 2a squared is 4a squared. So I add that to the uh, left side. And if I'm going to add it to the left side, I also have to add it to the right side. So now I'm set up to actually take the um, factor that left side. Well, remember, factoring left side is easy. It's always x plus whatever half the middle term was. So in this case, b over 2a. So it's always going to be that way. You could, you could multiply that and see that it's going to be the case, but that's the easy thing about completing the square. Now I need to add these two up. So to do that, I need to recognize that the um, common denominator is 4a squared. right? And to get 4a squared, I need to multiply that negative, six, negative c over a times 4a. Notice I multiply the top by 4a and the bottom by 4a. And so now they both have denominator 4a squared, so I can add those two together. And just so it's like the, the quadratic formula, I'm going to go ahead and put the b squared first. So when I add up that right side, I'm going to have b squared minus 4ac all over 4a squared. Okay, so I just brought the left side, stayed the same. The right side, I just added those two fractions up. And to add those two fractions, I actually had to get the common denominator. So that's how I got from the, the third step to the fourth step. Now, we're set to solve. Well, when you solve, you take the square root of both sides. Well, the square root of the left side is just x plus uh, b over 2a. When you take the square root of a square, you just whatever's inside that, that square that's your answer. The right side, I've got to take a plus and minus, because whenever you take the square root, you do plus and minus. And then I'm going to use the division property of square roots, which allows me to um, break it into a fraction of square roots. So b squared minus 4ac on top is in the square root, and then 4a squared is on the bottom uh, in a square root. Well, the good thing is we know what the square root of 4a squared is. The square root of 4a squared is 2a. Okay, so you can actually take the square root of that, that 4a squared, and you get 2a. And then um, now we want to get the x by itself, so we're going to subtract a negative b over 2a from both sides. So subtract the b over 2a. And that's going to leave you with, well, again, just to be like the formula, it's going to be a negative b over 2a plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now, those two can be added together because they have the same denominator, the denominator of 2a. So add the numerators, negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. And then that's going to all be over 2a. And so as you can see, we took the original formula, ax squared plus bx plus c. We completed the square, which was a little tricky at times, but not too bad. And we got the quadratic formula.